after that new school, I got transferred. Mine don't start till next Monday. Well, this one starts a whole week ahead of all the others, and I was going to use this week to finish my book. Are you still writing that old book? Old book? <laughs> it's just going to make me famous, that's all. What kind of book is it? It's a wonderful book. It's going to be 200 pages long. Is it like Forever Amber? A little. Is it like Gone with the Wind? A little. Is it like Dracula? A little. Find the happy Higginses of Sycamore Terrace. It's early morning. Not a creature is stirring. The only thing moving is the minute hand of the alarm clock in Daddy's bedroom as it moves inexorably toward... <laughs> Lancelot. Uh, it's seven o'clock. <laughs> we'll just throw the covers back and get up. Oh, all right, dear. Oh, another Monday morning. Why can't they start the week on Tuesday? It would be the same thing. No, it's the word Monday. It's an ugly word. Other days don't have names like that. Sunday, Saturday, Thursday. Lovely names. But Monday. Great Scott! Well, what's the matter? It suddenly occurred to me. Do you know what day this is? Lancelot Higgins, if you're going to tell me it's Monday... No, no, it's more than Monday. It's the Monday. In fact, Vera, it's the first day of school. What are you making such a fuss about? You don't have to go. No, but Snooks has to go. And somehow that always seems to spell aggravation. Well, maybe this year will be different. After all, she's going to that new school. Which reminds me, dear, you've got a meeting of the Parent Teachers Association tonight. Parent Teachers Association? Mm -hmm. Well, nothing like cheerful news to start the day with. <laughs> well, stop grumbling and go wake up Snooks. I'll fix breakfast. And Lancelot, please... No violence. All right, darling. Oh, Parent Teachers Association. How do I get into these things? By becoming a parent, that's how. Oh, Snooks. Snooks, baby. Mm-hmm. Are you awake? No, Daddy. Well, get up, dear. It's the first day of school. I don't feel well, Daddy. Uh, where don't you feel well? I got a tummy ache. Oh, no. That won't work this year. Try something else. I got a headache. Get up. A backache. Get up. You'll break yourself up. Honestly, Snooks, I don't know what's the matter with you. A toothache. Why must I go through this every year? Because you're stubborn. <laughs> Snooks, I don't want to be harsh. Are you going to get out of bed, or aren't you? Oh, well. That's a good girl. Stand up and throw your shoulders back. Mm-hmm. Now take a deep breath. Mm-hmm. Now come over here and, for Pete's sake, open your eyes. Now that's better. Now get dressed. Here's your little shoes, and here's your little socks. Turn around. <laughs> Turn around? Why? Because I got to take off my little nightgown. Oh. <laughs> All right, dear. I'll get you dressed from the closet. Uh, what dress would you like to wear? The yellow one with the pink flowers. Well, you don't have a dress like that. You didn't ask me what I had. You asked me what I wore. All want. right. All right. <laughs> Very funny. <laughs> yeah, I'm funny. Now, be careful. You'll break yourself up. Honestly, Snooks, I don't know what's the matter with you. A lot of little children would envy you. Why? Well, you're going to a brand new school. Brand new... I will, Daddy. Goodbye. Goodbye, dear. <laughs>
new building? Mm, I don't like the teacher. You don't like her? You don't even know her? She's a teacher, ain't she? Come on, come on. I want you downstairs, finish with your breakfast, and out of the house before I finish shaving. All right, Daddy. Kiss me goodbye now, honey. And today, try to be a good girl. 